StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between TLO and Stefano on Abyssal Reef, the latter edition. In the bottom right side of the map, we have the red Zerg player. It is Stefano, hailing from France and Team Meltdown. And in the top left side of the map, we have the blue Zerg player. It is Kain Brebson. But it is also TLO. This is some. This is a name he plays under on ladder sometimes. He's going pull pool first here against Stefano, and TLO is from Germany and Team Liquid. Yes, two very very popular Zerg players going up head to head here on the ladder in a game that has never been cast before. Stefano says thanks for the host yesterday. It was a small. It was small though. Says TLO. Ah, oh, look how nice they are to each other, fellow Zerg members on different teams from different countries, but just. Hanging out. Hanging out is what they're doing. Being nice. Hatch already on the way from Stefano. He hatched first. He hatched first here against a pool first TLO. This could cause some problems for our red Zerg player. And again, this is a ZVZ for those of you who are fans of this matchup. And man, if this, just, this doesn't get eyeballs, I don't know what possibly could. Stefano is in one of the highest, highest watched casts on my channel ever. TLO also consistently pulls in amazingly huge numbers. And ZVZ just isn't a popular matchup. People think it's all Ling Bane Ling. People it's all, think it's all Roach, Ravager. But we see interesting stuff. Is what we do. 2017 austerity year on SC2. Twitch numbers went low. It's, I'm going to say that's true. I'm not going to preach doom and gloom here as if some Lings are moving out here for TLO. That are going to get scouted by this Overlord. This is why you scout with Overlords. But... And the numbers are down. I think they're down for me a little bit as well here in 2017. But you know what? I'm here regardless. I'm not here for the numbers to keep going up. Uh, it's a hard knock life, says TLO. But yes, the, the SC2 life. We did not choose the SC2 life. The SC2 life chose us. It builds strength, says Stefano. The Ling's going after this hatchery of Stefano's. He didn't cancel. He feels like he can handle this. He's got six Ling's of his own coming out. He's bringing some drones down to fight as well. And here we go. Drones, actually, what are they? They're stacking up. And, oh, they all stacked up, so now they can fight. I love that micro move right there. And actually, running around, they're a little bit faster than the Lings are if the Lings don't have speed. Now the Lings showing up from Stefano. Bane Lings here as well, though, from TLO. Oh, this is a dangerous, dangerous game that is being played. One. One Bane Ling does explode on two drones there. This is looking really, really bad for Stefano. But again, TLO cut a lot of workers to make this thing happen. And the drones getting a nice hit, but they don't one-shot the drones, United. Spanlings don't, you'll notice, don't hit them, the, don't one-shot them. I think TLO's going to get this hatch, you guys. There are enough here. Queen distracting them long enough. That queen that popped out of the natural base is already dead. Lings can't save it. Seven, oh, one hit point and gone. The hatch is gone. Two lings remain for TLO, but he just sent enough to take down that hatchery. Well... Hatching up back at home, and now TLO is in a pretty good spot. It's 15 to 14 harvesters. He has a tiny bit of a lead, because again, he cut workers to make that happen. But he does have his expansion, whereas Stefano does not. All right, so Stefano doing a bit of a counterattack. TLO has enough lings to hold this. I think he does. He's probably making some banelings back at home as well. Is he doing that? Not really, actually. No defensive banelings. A little bit surprising, but I think he, I think he think can. Uh, I think he thinks he can hold it with his queen right here and with these lings. And Queen assisting very, very nicely. But, oh, the speed is done on Stefano's Ling. going to pick up a couple of workers here. But two Queens in the natural base, too much. The four Ling's thinking about it. Thinking about going into the main base here, trying to pick off as many drones as they can. And they're going for it here. The drones forced to fight for their lives. Not something they want to do. More Ling's showing up from Stefano. He is now taking the turn of being the aggressor. After defending for the first three minutes or so here, this is a pretty intense back and forth. Bailings are now here from TLO. Trying to chase down these speedlings, but they are too fast. They're too fast for that. Trying to make good angles, but no, not going to happen. Ooh, bailing into a Ling. That's not something TLO wanted. It's exactly what Stefano wanted, though. Ling's just scouting out, and I think they're all pretty much dead at this point. One does manage to escape with his skin intact and eight hit points on there. So expansion for Stefano. That pretty much just bought him the time to get his own expansion down. It is 23, 24 to 21 Harvesters. TLO has a bit of a lead now on his opponent here. Who's going to tech up first is the question. We are at Ling Bane Ling, which is, can be hard to tech up from, hard to get out of that. And no player really shows any signs of being uh, super interested in doing that when Stefano actually doesn't even have a Bane Ling nest. So that tells me he's still getting gas. He's likely not going to go for Bane Lings if he hasn't at this point. Possibly going to try to go for Roach, but this is, again, TLO. Not showing any sign of teching up either, so I see a big swell of Ling showing up soon. Can Stefano handle it? 
is the question of the day. Oh, and I do have links to both Stefano and uh, TLO's Twitch streams in the description. If you want to see high-level, really entertaining, and just fun Zerg players stream on Twitch when you're not watching some of my casts, then hit them up. Uh, they really, really deserve the follows. Third hatch coming in for both players at pretty much the same time here. It looks like TLO's is... You know what? That's about the same. Five... Seven, eight, nine, six, and okay. So it looks like Stefano's is a little bit ahead of TLO's, but not by much at all. Lings are trying to kill overlords here on the bottom right side of the map. Stefano probably going to get this one, actually. Bit off creep, which is always scary for queens, because Lings can show up at any time and murder you, but I don't see anybody coming in to do that. So Stefano's queen gets away with that risk. Might just stay here to inject on this third base of Stefano's. Lings running up this right side. <laughs> Same thing for TLO. Stefano and TLO kind of meet meeting in the night there. Not quite sure. What they were expecting to find, but they found each other is what they did. Evolution Chamber with plus one melee attack coming in from the TLO. And Ling does scout. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at that. TLO scouts that third base very nicely. And his own third base is still hidden from Stefano. So that's going to be a bit of an advantage. And in ZVZ, a bit of an advantage is generally all that you really need. Who is going Lair? That's a Lair from Stefano. And is he just... He does have a Roach Warren. Okay, I was going to say, he's going to Lair without a Roach Warren or a Baneling Nest. That's crazy talk, but nope. He's doing that. And TLO actually not going Roaches himself. Going Ling, Bane. This is what I was worried about. He's coming in to try to take down this third base. I don't think Stefano can stop this. I don't think he has enough at all to deal with this, especially with the Banelings that are waddling in as the follow-up to the Lings here. There's just too many Zerglings out on the map for TLO. He's got how many? 31 to 3. On the Roach count, that third base dies almost immediately. Just too many Zerglings. They don't have attack upgrades, but it doesn't matter. And this is where the walls are important in ZVZ. Stefano has Evolution Chamber, Roach Warren, and a bunch of Queens. And Roach is here at his front door, at both of his front doors on this map. They are effectively walled off. The Ling's going to have a hard time breaking through that. The Bane Ling's going to have a hard time with it as well. Uh, Creep Tumor trying desperately to be built here. Will it be able to finish, or the Bane Ling's might just explode on it and kill it? And Queens holding their own. Roach is doing amazingly well. The Banelings do explode on the Creep Tumor and on top of the Queens. Is it enough to get through? I think there's too many Roaches. The Queens are dead, but the Roaches are holding their very best. Oh, the Lings do get the surround. That is bad. They do get around the outside. Queen forced to fight as well. Drones being pulled off the line for Stefano. He needs to hold this. The Queen does end up falling here. The natural base. Some Lings get inside, but they are eventually murdered. But they killed a lot of stuff there. They killed a lot there. Four Queens have died for Stefano. 36 Lings have died. Two roaches and five drones in this game. He should have held. He should have held that little area. Just a little bit of an area for TLO to sneak around the outside. Caused him some major problems. No, oh, TLO takes a fourth base behind all of that. What is, is he going to try to win this thing with Ling Bane? I don't see him upgrading. I don't see him making a roach ward. I don't see him making... He's just going to go Ling Bane Ling and try to win this thing straight up that way. Which, you know what? It can work. It can totally work. Stefano does have his roaches. He's got his ravagers. They're slower though. You notice how slow they are. Trying to respond to these Lings. Going after his replacement third base. Stefano is trying to do that. So many Zerglings out. Plus one attack is done now. That's scary. Oh, the Roaches get caught out in the open. Ravagers too trying to get out of there. But they're going to die so quickly to these plus one Lings. Plus one Lings with the surround. Look at how quickly these Roaches die. Plus one attack helps immensely for Zerglings because they hit so fast. Every single hit gets that damage upgrade. It's such a better upgrade for them than other slower attacking units. Lings trying to get into this front door again. Oh, Stefano, there's a single Roach trying to hold this line. I just don't see another Evolution Chamber trying to be built. No, the Lings are inside. The Lings are inside regardless. Roaches and Queens and trying not to get surrounded, but they are. They're coming around this right side once again, getting that surround. Tilo knows how important positioning is here. Is it going to be enough? It's so hard to tell. The Lings are starting to go away, but all these units are so low on HP for Stefano. That Queen has 16 hit points. This Queen has 30 Hit points there. Resources lost. 4,700 for our blue uh, Zerg player, TLO. And 46, uh, 4,700 lost as well. Wow. For Stefano. So dead even at this point. But again, the fourth base up for TLO. He looking good. Third base again trying to be planted from Stefano. But the Lings come rolling in. I think they can kill this before. Yep, there we go. At least forcing a cancel. Stefano agreed with me. He thinks that uh, TLO could have killed that if he wanted if he'd been given the opportunity, five mutas on the way from Stefano. So again, he's teching up. Roach Warren finally coming in for TLO. I have never seen a Zerg player hang on with just Ling Baneling for 10 minutes in a game before without winning or losing. So this might be bad news for TLO. I know he has four bases. I know it's 53 to 45 harvesters. He has that lead. I know Stefano's having a 
terror of a time trying to hold this third base. Hey, guess what? Lings are here again. There's another cancel. There's another cancel on that third. The Ling, the Ling activity by TLO has just been brilliant throughout this game. The question is, is TLO ready for Mutalisks? He doesn't have any Spore Crawlers. He has some Queens. He doesn't have anything close to a Hydralisk Den. Not even starting at that there. He does again have his own Roach Warren, which is moderately useful. But these Mutas are flying in. Stefano needs to make something happen now. So he's coming in with as many Mutas as he has, which is eight. Spore Crawlers immediately built here, going after these drones, trying to kill this drone count. There's a single queen here at the natural base, but that's not going to be enough. The mute is going to chase her down. Oh, three more queens. Rather, two more queens here and transfuses. Again, anti-air, very good on queens, are going to chase these mutas away. Roaches and Ravagers trying to kill the lings coming down the top side to kill that third base again for what feels like the 87th time. Mutas trying to kill lings that are running around. The queens again shoving them away here. Maybe they can kill one of these queens, and they do. They do pick it off. A muta dies, though. Very low on HP, as it turns out. Crossabile actually hits... Queens are dead. Muta's doing a great job against this army, just really picking off Ravagers, picking off Roaches as best they can. Going after this fourth base of TLOs. He did not build a Spore Crawler here, so these drones are going to die. That's going to be 11 total drone kills. First, Stefano going after Overlords, trying to supply block TLO. He's very close to doing so, and he does. 126 out of 120 available. Out of TLO here, it's 50 to 55 Harvester. Stefano really needs this third base, but he's in a great position otherwise. The Ling's coming down again. Stefano just do has no interest in leaving a major defense here at this base. Going to be some Roaches and Ravagers, but the Ling's are just too many. Again, the surround's really powerful. There's a cancel on the third base again by TLO. Ling's running into the natural base looking really, really bad. Queen dies just as soon as she injects. Roaches now have joined the composition for TLO. There are mutas in the sky, but mutas take a while to kill roaches. As it turns out, they do kill them, but, it, I mean, all your stuff is pretty much dying in the meantime. Roaches here inside the main base, just absolutely crushing Stefano. His natural base is gone as well. He's down to a single lair. The roaches are trying to take it down. They have plus one missile attack. They have plus one armor. The mutas want them dead. The roaches on the ground for Stefano want them dead as well. I don't think they can get the lair. They're going for the guaranteed damage, which is killing as many roaches and drones and queens as they can. Do, are there any queens? No queens remaining for Stefano. Are you kidding me? No queens and one base. He's replanting his natural base. He's going after the third base as well. But there's just not much here to defend against these mutas. I lie. There's a lot of hydras out for TLO. He's got 12. He has 12 hydralisks right now. Uh, where are you, Mutaflock? Here you are, Mutaflock. There are actually a lot of you. There are 19. 19 here, but the hydra count is pretty good as well. 14 of them with four queens defending. It's just they're not as fast as the mutas are. The mutas are trying to take advantage of that by swinging back and forth from the fourth base to this natural base, killing overlords again, slowing down the macro abilities here of TLO. This is one of the best CVZs I've ever cast. I might put an epic tag up here, depending how things go. Mutas again taking shots from spore crawlers here inside the main base, trying to kill extractor. Just too many, too much damage. 30 damage, 30 damage per shot. Versus Air Biological, which is, it's basically, it's Muta. That's what they got that before, was against Mutalisks. Trying to kill Overlords that are a little bit too far away from the Spores. But again, the single, two Spores actually here now. Going for a third Spore at the third base as well as TLO. Ling's trying to cancel that third base of Stefano's for the 19th time. And unable to do it, as there are not enough of them. There were a handful of Roaches, but man, if that big swell of Ling's showed up again, it'd be a different story. So it's 60 to 38 Harvesters. Natural base is back for Stefano. Third base is up for the first time in the game at 13 minutes so far, which is not what you want if you're a Zerg player. Fourth base is done for TLO, but he's doing literally nothing with it. He's not mining from it at all. He doesn't have a queen by it. Okay, now he does. I guess he's using the larva to make infestors, which is great. Ooh, infester. Infester Hydra, pretty good. Pretty good composition here. Coming down, the Hydras for TLO are on, on an offensive with some links here. So the Mutas will take down this fourth base of TLO, but like I said, he's not really using it for much. Anyway, Ling's showing up at the third base while Ravagers are morphing in. Uh, Recanceling those upgrades, kind of canceling. So many Roaches are dying. The Hydra severely outnumbered these Ravagers. There are like two or three of them, and the Hydra just absolutely eating them for breakfast. Third base might die here. Mutas versus these Hydras. I don't know about this. I don't know about this at all. The Hydra is walking right on in. Drones forced to pull here as well. The Mutas trying to take down Hydralisks one by one. Individually, you can hear the Mutalisks dying, though, and that's a good game out of Stefano. Woo, Stefano's defeated, and TLO, Kain Bremsen, is victorious. 
Wow, that was a good one. That was a great ZVZ, and I'm really sad that only like a thousand people are going to watch it, but that's fine. That is fine. We can live with it. 249 lings lost for TLO. Uh, that's just that's a lot of Zerglings, but they killed so many bases. Four hatches were killed by TLO in this game. That doesn't even count the ones that Stefano canceled. That, that third base was not allowed to survive without TLO's express permission, and he just never really ever gave it. The Hydra transition was brilliant. He had an Infestor follow-up as well, which he didn't really end up having to use. The Hydras could pretty much handle it on their own. There were still eight Mutas left, and there were eight Hydras, but the Lings were eating all of his drones. He was down to 24 drones compared to 59 for TLO. His third base was gone again. He recognized it was a losing battle, decided to tap out. Resources lost 12,400 for our Zerg player TLO, and about 12,000, no, 13,000 for Stefano. So close. Very close, but 44 drones killed by TLO was a big deal and just willing to sacrifice those lings if it meant that Stefano never got that third base, and that's pretty much it. So that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw, what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.